I actually thought I unboxed this game already and I did not. <laughs> uh, so in this video, I'm gonna finally unbox Dawn of the Monsters that I bought from Limited Run Games, which I received a few months ago actually. And um, it's just been sitting in my video game collection and I was like, did I open this already? And the answer is no, I did not open it already. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set up the camera and do an unboxing video, why not? So um, I guess this can count as a kaiju game because you play as giant monsters and giant robots. And the only other kaiju video games I have in my collection is this one right here. Godzilla for PS4, which is not the best Godzilla game out there on the planet, but it's one of the most, I guess, recent ones that's still playable on PS4 and PS5. And I like to revisit this game every now and then and, and play as some of the monsters. So, you know, so the Godzilla game I like to revisit. And I don't know if this counts, but I also have Override 2 Super Mech League the Ultraman Deluxe Edition, which I got during the PS5 launch. Uh, this one you play is mostly giant robots. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to check this one out. Got the Collector Edition. On the back, it says in big, bold, red text there, it takes monsters to stop monsters. Take control of four awe-inspiring playable behemoths in order to take on the evil Nephilim, a horde of creatures that are hell-bent on destroying the planet. Liberate four major metropolitan areas from Toronto to Tokyo in this epic action game. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, where's my exacto knife? Let's just, um... So I think I'm just going to try to cut off the top of it. So I can get to the fold of the cardboard. There we go. And just remove everything from the top part of the box. Okay, I think everything's cut. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So here we are, Dawn of the Monsters, Collector's Edition for PS5. Is this thing recording? Okay. For a minute I thought my camera was not recording. I was about to be like, oh no. Okay. There should be some more boxes in there. I don't know if I can actually... Here. Ah, if I try to like straight up grab it like a man, I'm gonna rip the hell out of it. So I'm gonna try to... my best to... be gentle with my finger gymnastics going on here. Ah. There we go. Okay, uh, that's it, that's it. Okay, so um, this should be the PS5 version. That's the version that I did order a few months back. Hopefully that's the version I got. Is there anything in this part? No? You know, that looks like a, something where they can fit the game, you know? Just all this unnecessary cardboard. Uh, where's the game actually? Let's put most of this stuff aside. Okay, there's the game. So, cool. Dawn of the Monsters, there it is. There's the back of it. Actually, how many gigabytes does this take up? Oh, only 4.20 gigabytes. Right there. Not bad, not bad, okay. Let's put the game right there. This is the physical soundtrack. Original soundtrack music by Dan Rodriguez. Dan Rod Rodriguez, sorry. And how many tracks? Uh, oh, 32 tracks. Okay, cool. So that must mean there's probably two discs in there, maybe? So maybe there's one, there's two? Don't know. Okay. Is that it for this cardboard? Yeah. Place that off to the side. And what do we have here? Oh. Oh wow, okay, so this looks like a diorama set for the figures. It's actually, oh okay, I see. So I'm gonna have to see if I can actually take that out of the plastic.
This is a diorama set, right? Yeah, it's like, oh wow, they have some kind of like acrylic uh, coating on them. Or covering. Is that it? Oh, oh, maybe just two pieces? Okay, so which one... Uh, which one is the bottom, which one is the top? I assume there's like a piece of film over it. Yeah. It looks like a piece of thin layer of film that I could peel off. But I, uh, I'm going to have to really get in there. Okay. I don't want to waste too much time. So anyway, that this is a thin layer of film that looks like it could be peeled off. Same with uh, this one as well. So I assume that just goes together like that. And you put the four minifigures on that part. And here are... Okay. Whoa. I'm feeling a bunch of stuff here. So we got trading cards and what's that stuck on it's stuck on something okay there it is so here's a stack of trading cards stack of uh, ID cards the commemor commemorative coins commemorative commemorative here's a double-sided poster and this is the four figures inside this box so where did I put my exacto knife again mm. Just cut that along there. There we go. Oh. Yeah, there's the figures. All wrapped up in little bubble wrap. So, okay. So I'm going to set up everything here and do a little edit so we can take a closer look at everything. Okay, so... Have everything prepared, sort of. Let's just unbox the actual video game first. And see if there's anything extra inside this box. Okay, and of course, of course that has to be loosened up inside the box. But there's the background art there of some of the monsters. Okay, put that back in, and ooh. So here, if you want to see the, the whole thing, that's what it looks like in the background there. I actually dig it a lot, and might be actually used as reversible cover art, so yeah, there's the uh, full art there. So if I could just put it in this way, how would that look? Oh yeah, doesn't look too bad. Actually, it looks kind of cool. All right, so we can um, just maybe keep that there. And um, oh yeah, that thing I took out of the box. What was this? Debriefing materials. Oh, so is this like a old school instruction manual? Sort of. It just gives you a description and rundown of some of the monsters in the game. Or monsters and uh, giant robots, I guess. And some of the characters. Okay. So it's not really an instruction manual. Dawn of the Monsters. Before I started recording this part of the video, I grabbed my protective card sleeves for trading cards and I put each individual cards inside the card sleeves since they do not come with one but I'll show off the cards so um I don't know if I'm going to be able to pronounce all of these monsters Ganera and on the back it does give the stats and description of the monsters okay we have Aegis Prime and I'll show off the stats for each one. Okay. Is it Aegis or Aegis? 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 Aegis Prime. I'll just say it like that. We have Quake Quixot. Quake Quake Quixote? Hmm. Quickoat. Quick Quixote. I don't know how to pronounce that one. But I guess I'll just pronounce it as Quick Quick. 
like so. Uh, put that there. Tempest Galad. Right there. King Malakar. Or Malakar. <laughs> Again, I just, I have not played this game before, so it's my first time seeing the names of these uh, creatures. Alright, this one is uh, Megadon. That's pretty easy to pronounce. He looks really cool. What's his stats? He has very high attack power. Uh, mid defense and his rage is a little bit high. I might play as this guy. Alright, and we have uh, Sednagon. Who has very high stats. Holy crap, look at that. He has high attack, high speed, very high defense, intelligence, rage. Huh. Okay. He's a bit overpowered. Whatever. And finally, uh, Torgara. There's the back. Also included are these uh, ID cards of some of the characters in the game. This one you can make your own by putting your own image on the card, I assume. And that's what it looks like on the back of these ones. I guess different ranking systems. So we've got Claire. Um, this one is Edgy. Or is that Ejai? Let's call it Edgy. What's the back of that one looks like? Same as the other ones that I just showed. Fosco. This one is Jamila. And who else do we have? Sophia. And we have Victor. And I guess each one has different ranking classes according to the icons that are showing on the back of the cards. And here is the commemorative coin, which um, I thought is going to be two different coins, but it's just one with, uh, you know, one uh, got one logo or icon on one side of the coin, and on the other side you have a different logo. I guess one for the monsters, and one is for, like, the the humans. And here are the four chibi kaiju figures, which uh, looks really, really neat and really cute. And it comes with a diorama, a two-piece set that's really easy to assemble. As you can see, there's still that thin layer of film on the bottom there that I still have not peeled off. But uh, I'll show off the monsters here, which um, I'm going to have to look at the trading cards because... I don't know the names, so this is uh, Megadon, and I'll show him next to his trading card here, so you can see. They look very well sculpted for, uh, you know, for what they are, chibi figures. <laughs> Alright, so we have this guy here, who, uh, once again, I'm going to have to refer to the trading cards, because I don't remember or know the names. So, who is this guy? Janira. There it is. Found the trading card. Next up, we have Aegis Prime. Which, I don't know if I said that correctly. But, it looks really cool. Love how the back is painted purple. And he has, like, that round pink dome piece on the top of his uh, helmet there. And finally, we have Tempest Galad, who has like uh, some kind of cannon for its left arm, at least in the art on the trading card, not so much for the chibi figure here. Is he uh, both of his regular arms there. But I think this one also looks pretty cool. And there you go, all of the four chibi figures standing in front of their uh, respected trading card. Alright, so here's one side of the poster of uh, Tempest Galad. I guess this is sort of like a antonomy poster 
of the inner workings of this mech here. All of the, uh, what is that supposed to be? It has a, oh, a Nephilim heart modified as shield source. Interesting. All right, so, um, oh, Dawn Research and Development. Wait a minute. Uh, Defense Alliance Worldwide Network. Oh, okay, so that's the name of the human alliance, I guess, is Dawn. So, okay, that's one side. And on the other side is Megadon. I think I like this side a lot more. <laughs> this guy, re whoops. Okay, this guy is reminding me of uh, Godzilla a little bit. Four awesome chibi figures, about eight trading cards of the monsters in the game, uh, seven ID cards, get this cool double-sided commemorative coin, soundtrack with about 32 tracks on it, a cool double-sided poster here, and of course the game itself with this cool artwork that you could actually use for the main cover, and you know, you could also reverse it back to the original box art. Uh, Let's see if I can reverse that. There we go. There you go. Got the standard box art cover on there. Dawn of the Monsters. Uh, all right. So, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to put this in the PS5 and see what this game is all about. And, of course, I'll provide some commentary while playing this so you guys get my first initial impressions of the game uh but for everything it comes with i would say it's pretty cool it's pretty cool all right guys i'll see you in the next one peace